Hope everyone's having a pleasant Labor Day weekend. Uh, it's the time of year when uh, the days start getting cooler, the nights start getting longer, and you get done camping and hiking and fishing and backpacking and doing all that outdoor stuff that you tend to do during the warm weather, and you get ready for the winter. And uh, typically, if you're like a lot of people, you will take your camelback that you've been using all summer and toss it in a closet somewhere or put it in the basement or put it in the garage and then forget all about it until the following March or April or May. And by the time you get back to it and the time you pull it out of your uh, wherever you've stored it, it's moldy and mildewy and nasty and disgusting. And you almost want to throw it out and get a new one, which obviously is not the right idea. And so what, the, uh, what we want to talk about today is... Uh, how to prepare your camelback for the winter and get ready to store it in less than five minutes uh, of actual effort and time expended. And it's very, very easy. Uh, it also depends on what kind of camelback you have because camelbacks, as you know, go back, uh, the company was started in the 1990s and the original camelback, you don't even see one here because uh, the oldest reservoir we deal with on a typical basis and the oldest style of camelback is called the long neck. And there's a 70 ounce and there's a 100 ounce. And that reservoir design is 20 plus years old. And really the only products that it's that it's using today are the two liter Thermobac long neck. Part number 71,000, only comes in black. Used to come in black and uh, multicam and desert uh, camo. And then the next oldest one is called the Omega. And that's close to 20 years old, maybe give or take 15, 18 years old. Uh, and that one is a little bit different. And then in 2015, uh, after a very long time, after more than 10 years with the Omega design, Camelback came out with the Antidote or the Mil-Spec Mil Antidote series. They came out with the civilian version a year or two prior, but the Antidote, uh, the Mil-Spec Antidote came out in 2015, and Camelback also completely redesigned the packs at that time, the military packs. And then in 2019, they came out with the newest version of their reservoir, which is called the Crux. Um, so again, from oldest to newest, you got the long neck, the Omega, the Antidote, and the Crux. And the way you take them apart and clean them and store them is going to be a little bit different with each one, but essentially the same. Again, it's going to take less than five minutes total. Um, and so the first thing you want to do is obviously take your reservoir out. It's a little bit different depending on the pack, whether you got an Ambush, whether you got a High Viz, whether you got a, uh, sorry, a Watermaster, a High Viz, a Mother Load, a Thermoback, whatever the case may be. But it's not hard to figure out. Your, your nine-year-old could do it. Uh, and once you take it out, you're going to want to completely disassemble it. And so the long neck and the Omega uh, have a similar design in terms of the internal components. And uh, it's called the, um, the Hydrolink system, whereas the Antidote and the Crux series reservoir use the newer one, which is called the Quick Link system. But again, they're all, they're all pretty similar, and they all come apart, apart very easily. So the long neck reservoir and the Omega. The first thing you're going to do is take the drink tube off of the reservoir, and you do that by just pressing that little gray button there and pulling. And it comes apart, uh, not, not with, uh, it's not the easiest thing in the world, but it comes apart relatively easily. And you'll notice that that uh, connector there is about an inch long. Uh, where you're going to notice when we take apart an antidote and a crux is that the connector is about half as long. So when you look at a bite valve, for instance, it's the same thing. The, uh, the connector on the bite valve of the newer ones is about a half an inch in size. Uh, the connector on the bite valve of the older ones is about three quarters or an inch in size. And that's the easy way to tell them apart because they're not compatible with each other. And so you need to make sure you you, uh, you have that straight, for instance, if you're buying spare parts. So again, take the drink tube off of the base of the reservoir. It's the very same way, whether you got a long neck or whether you got an Omega. And then take the bite valve off the other end of the drink tube. And it's the same thing. You just press that button, that gray button there, and then pull the bite valve off. Again, it's about the connector is about an inch long. Um, and then if you have a bite valve cover, which is important if you have uh, if you use it in the desert or in, in dusty, dirty environments, uh, open up the open up the uh, open up that bite valve cover. Um, and then you've got all the components of the reservoir. Uh, I'm sorry, there's one more. There's the lid, and so the lid just comes off. You just loosen it. Hopefully, it's not stuck on. Okay, and take it off and make sure you separate it from the little retaining ring that holds it on. Okay, it's not that hard.
Okay, so there's the lid for your reservoir and there's a little retaining ring. You can actually take the ring off of the reservoir, but it's it's uh, it's a little bit on the fragile side, the little thing that holds it on. So you, so you don't usually want to do that. Usually you just don't want to leave it as is. And just take those four components, the, the reservoir itself, the drink tube, the bite valve, and the lid, and, uh, and wash them. And the easiest thing to do, may or may not be factory uh, approved or recommended, toss them in the laundry. Uh, you can use cold water, you can use warm water, make sure you use mild detergent, don't use bleach, and use the gentle cycle so that it doesn't spin too fast and start tearing apart your loose components. But that's all you need to do. Um, and then once it comes out of the laundry, you're going to want to rinse it again because typically soapy water is going to get trapped inside the reservoir, trapped inside the drink tube, trapped inside the bite valve, uh, and then leave it sitting out for about 24 hours. Um, and once it's fully dry, you know, you can, you can blow through the drink tube, for instance, make sure all the water's out of there. And by the way, every Camelback drink tube has an on-off switch. This is the off position. That's the on position. Sometimes, depending on the lighting, you can't see it now. But that's the off position. That's the on position. Make sure you have it in the on position when you're washing it, obviously, so water can flow through it. Uh, and then when you dry it, again, make sure it's turned on. And then just reattach the bite valve. You're going to hear a click. Reattach the drink tube to the reservoir. You're going to hear a click. Uh, and then reattach that... Uh, that lid to the retaining ring, which is not that hard. Put it back in your pack and then put it away for the winter and you're done. Now there's a couple exceptions to that. Um, for instance, the water master, for instance, the, uh, the hive is here and the hydro back, which we've got somewhere, uh, as well as the saber, the smaller packs, like the, uh, the packs that are less than hundred ounces in size, like the seventies, um, and the 85s. Uh, sometimes the drink tube does not actually come off the base of the reservoir on the factory install reservoir. It's definitely the case on the Watermaster, definitely the case on the high vis and also the Hydroback, and also we think the uh, Stealth, and we think the uh, the Sabre, but that's no big deal. Again, it's not that hard to clean it, even with the drink tube still attached to the reservoir. Now, on the Antidote, again, it's it's a newer design. On the military side, it came out in 2015. Uh, the drink tubes and the bite valves between the Antidote series and the old Omega and the uh, Long Neck are not cross-compatible, or backwards compatible, I should say. However, the drink tubes and bite valves between the Antidote and the Crux series are, in fact, compatible. So if you got a, a, uh, a drink tube that works in an Antidote reservoir, it's also going to work in a Crux reservoir. And same thing with the, drink, uh, the bite valve and so on and so forth. Um, and again, the, the newer system is called the Quick Link, and it's very, very easy. It just clicks right in, comes right out. Much, much easier than the older versions does. This is an old uh, Ambush Desert Camo. Uh, that pack itself is probably 20 years old from back in the day, like uh, OIF-1, when Iraq we, we first did the invasion of Iraq. Um, and, uh, and again, the, the drink tubes and the bite valves attach and detach a lot easier on the Quick Link. Uh, meaning antidote and crux. But again, you're going to take off that uh, drink tube, turn it to the on position, take off the bite, bite valve, as discussed. Just hit that black uh, that button. Um, the button, by the way, on the antidote drink tube is gray. The button on the crux drink tube is black, and that's the only way you can tell them apart. Otherwise, they look identical. And they also perform identically, although uh, uh, Camelback will tell you that you get 25% more water per sip from the crux reservoir and the crux drink tube and bite valve than you do with the antidote although again you can't tell them apart when you look at them they look identical maybe there's a bigger opening who knows but again same thing with the crux you just press the button take off that that bite valve press the button take off that drink tube uh, and then take off the lid and the lid also detaches from the retaining ring very easily. Toss it in the laundry. Um, the lid on the Antidote series, it's, 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 it functions a little bit better. It's like uh, it's got a quarter turn from fully closed to fully open. So you can have it fully open, turn it a quarter turn, and it's fully closed. And you're not going to over tighten it because, you know, it's very clear when you need to stop. It, it will not let you tighten it further. 
but then a quarter turn and it opens. And then there's a little, uh, a little sort of knob that keeps it attached to the, uh, to the base. Just pulling it a little bit, it clicks right out. And there's your antidote reservoir fully disassembled. So that's how you do it. Uh, you know, in, in the time we've been talking, you could have taken it apart and put it back together twice. Um, uh, the key though is to get it fully disassembled, wash it, whether you toss it in the laundry, which, which is the way we do it. Camelback might not agree. Uh, you probably shouldn't put it in the dishwasher because the higher temps might not, uh, you know, your, the, uh, the components may or may not take to those higher temps the way you'd like them to. Um, make sure you air them out thoroughly. And once they're fully dry, put them back together, put the reservoir back in the pack, put it away for the winter. And then in the springtime, it's going to be ready to go and you won't have to worry about it being moldy and mildewy and disgusting, especially if you've had like juice or something in there or Hawaiian punch or whatever you put in there. Um, and it's got like green algae and stuff growing it. Uh, you, you don't want, you don't want to have to mess with that when it's finally warm again, six or eight months from now. And it's time to go back outside and, uh, and start using that camelback. Um, the pack, uh, again, by the way, the pack itself, you can also toss in the laundry. Um, make sure you've got all the zippers closed up. Make sure you have everything out of it. So, you know, your, uh, whatever you have in there, you know, your, your Kit Kat bars or your gummy bears or what have you, you don't want that stuff in it when you, uh, when you go to wash it. Uh, toss in the laundry too. It'll come out just fine. Air dry it tw 24 hours. It'll be fully dry. Get that reservoir back in it and put it away and it'll be ready to go in the spring. That's really all there is to it. Um, again, like we said, Antidote, that is our preferred reservoir because we just like the way the uh, the cap goes on and off. Um, that quarter turn from fully closed to fully uh, open is great. The Crux is the newer one. It's got a little bit wider of an opening, as you can see, just a little bit wider. Um, but we just prefer the Antidote. Um, and as you know, with the antidote and the crux, there's a 100 ounce short uh, and a 100 ounce long. This is an example of a short 100 ounce reservoir. And I'll compare it. The short reservoir goes in, for instance, the thermo back short. It goes in the ambush. It goes in the armor back and might go in one or two other packs. It's kind of short and squat, if that makes sense. The long reservoir. There's an antidote, long and short, and a crux, long and short. If you can see, the long is a little bit longer and skinnier. And the, and the long reservoir goes in practically everything. It goes in the mule, the thermoback, the, uh, the hog, the BFM. Uh, it goes in a hell of a lot more packs than the short one does. But again, we just prefer the design of the short because it's, you know, it, it's, it's a little bit more uh, compact and a little bit more uh, handy in that respect. Um, and then again, the uh, the long neck, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just, uh, you know, some people say that the O-ring on the long neck, uh, 100 ounce and 70 ounce, doesn't seal quite as well as it should. Uh, the Omega, uh, also nothing wrong with the Omega. It's perfectly fine. Just because it's a, you know, 15 plus year old design, it doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with it. The only, the only issue, though, that you're going to notice, uh, if you have like a... Uh, a half a reservoir full of water, for instance, you can take that drink tube off of the antidote and off of the crux, and it's no big deal, and the water will stay in the reservoir. If you take that drink tube off the Omega or the long neck, that water will come spouting out of that reservoir um, because there's no check valve inside there. There's no check valve in the, an in, the, in, the in the long neck or the Omega holding that water in. Uh, however, on the antidote or the crux, there is a check valve, so it's no big deal to detach the drink tube from it. Uh, just a small detail to pass along there. Um, okay, I think that's it. Uh, subject to, uh, I don't think there's anything else to talk about. It's, it's, it's pretty straightforward and pretty simple. Um, hope you all have a great uh, rest of your Labor Day weekend, and, uh, and hope you enjoy the fall and winter. Talk to you guys later.